What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to the Division 2. And yesterday we got a good bit of information about one of the new updates that will be coming to the game next week, which will be uh, Tuesday, May the 12th. This will be update 9.1. Of course, they kind of just highlighted some of the things that we can expect to see with this update. But one of the main things they did talk about was NPC changes. It looks like the NPCs are going to be getting a lot of changes addressing enemy skill, weapons, and abilities that stand out as causing uh, difficulty spikes. Uh, according to the developers, they're talking about uh, some of these NPC enemies, uh, depending on what level you're playing on from hard all the way up to legendary, sometimes the spike in, or increase in damage that they deal is way too much or more than it was supposed to be. So they're talking about nerfing uh, damage and out of cover accuracy of SMGs used by Red Bar Hyena Assault players. Also our, in, our NPCs reducing the damage from burn and bleed status effect is also going to affect PVP. Uh, nerfed NPC grenade throw accuracy. I will say I have not played the division in a while as you guys know just kind of got back into playing it. And I've never seen NPCs be able to throw grenades like they can right now. I mean, they can throw a grenade from any angle pretty much if you're playing on something like Challenging or Heroic and hit you at pretty much any area that you're in. It's just insane how accurate they are and how far they can throw these grenades. So that's definitely one thing I could see that needed to be changed. Um, they're going to nerf also the Rogue Agents and Legendary NPCs have better accuracy than Elites. Uh, they say right now the elite characters are have, have better accuracy than the hunters and rogue agents. Uh, they decrease the accuracy of the hyena thrower airburst. Also, they're looking to reduce NPC accuracy while blind firing, reduce the frequency and aggressiveness of NC, uh, NPC behavior when advancing on hidden targets, fix some status effects. Uh, they're also looking to reduce how much damage player skills take from NPCs. Also, nerf the range of the cleaner tanks flamethrower. Uh, that is another thing that to me has gotten kind of wild as of late. I remember before that those flamethrowers used to have some distance, but now it seems like they can pretty much spawn in the room and sit sit on the trigger. It seems like the flamethrower and hit you all the way across the map. As it, it kind of feels like that sometimes. Uh, they're also going to Black Tusk support station no longer heals uh, NPCs or destructible props. The legendary version of the support station now has a healing cap amount. Also further lowered likelihood of tank archetypes rushing towards players, hives or turrets to stomp them. And that's just a few things that they're looking to change during this update. Like I said, that's going to come out next Tuesday. Of course, there will be more when those uh, patch notes are released and that update is out. And I will do a video on that for you guys, just in case you're curious what changes next week when update 9.1 is released. But I kind of wanted to give you just a heads up of what you can expect with this new update with some NPC changes. And they're also in the talks uh, about buffing player character so you know if you're just playing on any character no matter what it is skill uh damage tank whatever the case may be whatever type player you have it seems like they're going to be doing some buffing to the players and nerfing to the npc so we'll kind of have to wait and see when those patch notes are released exactly what changes but guys leave me a comment with your thoughts and of course if you like the video hit the like if you have not subscribed yet please do so if you are a subscriber make sure you click the bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live and if you have a chance to share the video, please do. It does help out the channel a lot. And be sure to check out GT Racing. They are the affiliate here on the channel. They sell gaming chairs and office chairs. And all their information is linked down in the description. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.